Something strange is going on aboard one of NASA's most iconic spacecraft of the 20th century. Voyager 1 is a verified space saurer that has flown for nearly half a century and is still going strong. The mission has returned magnificent photographs and crucial data from interstellar space, which was previously unknown. However, in an unexpected turn of events, Voyager 1 appears to be sending strange signals from beyond the solar system, and scientists are baffled as to why. Is Voyager 1 finally showing signs of wear and tear after 45 years in orbit, or is it something else entirely? Join us as we take a look at the latest deep space mystery that scientists and researchers have been puzzling over for the past few days. NASA launched the Voyager 1 space probe on September 5, 1977, four months after the first Star Wars film premiered in theaters. Voyager 1 is flying at nearly 38,000 miles per hour and is close to 14.5 billion miles from Earth, according to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory's online mission status page, making it the farthest distant artificially human-made object in existence. The Voyager 1 spacecraft is now traversing interstellar space. In 2012, it crossed through the heliopause. The heliopause is the boundary between the sun's solar winds and the interstellar medium, which includes all matter and radiation in the region between solar systems in the galaxy. This means that Voyager 1 is smack dab in the middle of the Milky Way's cosmic emptiness. The spacecraft, however, is still under the gravitational clutches of the Sun and has not yet departed the solar system. In the near future, scientists expect Voyager 1 will be able to leave Earth's orbit and travel much farther out into the cosmos. However, the further it travels, the older it becomes. In recent years, it has been flying across space at a rate of approximately 3.6 Earth-Sun distances per year. This has resulted in it now being 14.5 billion miles away from Earth. Voyager 1 was launched on September 5, 1977, two weeks after the Voyager 2, its robotic twin. They initially moved in the same direction to meet with the outer planets, but after swinging by Saturn in 1980 and 1981, they diverged onto opposite paths. However, Voyager 1 has a significant problem. As a result of some of the data the probe sends back to Earth being incorrect, NASA is unsure which direction the probe is pointing. You might be concerned if you're aware of the plot of Star Trek, the motion picture, which was released two years after Voyager 1 was launched. You may be wondering if this is similar to the massive space storms that destroy spacecraft and then demand a human sacrifice to stop the bloodshed. But according to NASA, there is no cause to be concerned that will be soon subjected to the Enterprise's embarrassingly excruciating and legendary long-establishing shots. All things considered, Voyager 1 is performing better than expected. However, Voyager 1's antiquated gear must be able to maintain itself. Things could happen as Voyager 1 makes its way past the border of our cosmic lake, where the Sun's magnetic field interacts with the interstellar medium in ways that have yet to be fully understood. There is a wealth of cosmic information waiting to be mined here in the hinterland. Erroneous number sequences such as rows of zeros are being returned by the computer signal that keeps Voyager 1's antenna oriented towards Earth. It's up to people like Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 project manager and 38-year veteran Suzanne Dodd, who started working on the spacecraft in 1984 as her first job out of college, to figure out what's going on with this distant probe. The Voyager 1 has a lot of autonomy in terms of detecting problems and putting itself in a safe environment. However, it hasn't entered any form of fault protection mode, implying that the spacecraft is fine, except that it started speaking a different language that we don't comprehend for some reason. One of three on the spacecraft, this computer maintains Voyager 1's orientation such as operating thrusters and keeping the high-gain antenna pointed towards Earth 
so that data about the interstellar medium can continue to trickle back. It is clear that Voyager 1 is functioning well because the team is able to guide the spacecraft and because the signal strength and lack of fault protection activation are both strong. According to the engineers, the AACS appears to be working as intended for the most part. As a result, the information transmitted back to Earth is invalid. I guess there's something in the interaction with the flight data system that's causing the telemetry data to be mixed up or incomprehensible, Dodds adds, and we haven't figured it out yet. Some of the data, for example, appears to be generated at random. The telemetry signal itself is illogical, yielding all zeros or the number 377. One of the main responsibilities of the AACS is to ensure that the Voyager 1 high-gain antenna is aimed at Earth. The good news is that NASA believes the antenna is still positioned properly because the signal is as powerful as it has always been. But saying the signal is as strong as ever is relative because sending a command to Voyager 1 and receiving a response takes two days, which is to be expected considering the distance. It takes light 20 hours and 33 minutes to travel between Earth and the probe at its current distance. According to Suzanne Dodd, the next phase in diagnosing the problem will be divided into two parts. The first step is to figure out what's causing the abnormality. If we can do that, we will be able to decide what we want to do next, whether we want to reset anything or use some of the backup gear, she explains, because these systems have redundancy even after 45 years. However, they are hampered by the fact that it will be decades before they see any results. Voyager 1's circuits and design were probably drawn up by people who have since retired or died, so in cases like this, what could be done? Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are both almost 45 years old, which is far beyond what the mission planners anticipated, said Suzanne Dodd. We're also in interstellar space, a high radiation environment that no spacecraft have flown in before. So there are some big challenges for the engineering team. But I think if there's a way to solve this issue with the AACS, our team will find it. There's a reasonable chance that we won't know what caused this anomaly. And in that case, we will move forward slowly doing things to re-establish our normal operations. Or, she says, we might not ever be able to clear these telemetry issues. That leaves only the issue of getting used to the strange but not deadly new reality, wouldn't you agree? Because having no idea what the anomaly is makes it more difficult for scientists to proceed with caution. They have to take a more cautious approach to avoid putting the spacecraft in danger and thereby jeopardizing the Voyager's mission. Suzanne Dodd also stated that if her team is unable to remedy the problem in the worst case scenario, they will just have to adjust to it, and so would we. Regardless, Voyager 1 is still sending back scientific data on a daily basis with no sign of the mission coming to an end anytime soon. Some scientists believe Voyager 1 will be able to send data until 2025, when its radioisotope thermoelectric generators RTGs, will no longer be able to generate enough energy to keep the spacecraft operational. Even if Voyager 1 is discovered to be on its last legs sooner than planned, it has had an incredible ride. It gathered comprehensive photographs and extraordinary amounts of data as it sailed by Jupiter and Saturn's gas giants, as well as Saturn's largest moon, Titan. It is well known that both the Voyager spacecrafts contained the Golden Record. The Golden Record is just two but powerful phonograph discs that include information about Earth's diverse way of life and traditions for any extraterrestrial civilizations that may stumble upon and understand it. The Golden Record carries the proof of the existence of our life on Earth. It features everything from the sounds of nature to Mozart and Chuck Berry's music. Indeed, the Voyager 1 probe has traveled so far into space that scientists could hear the hum of our solar system as the spacecraft travels beyond it. NASA, meanwhile, also affirms that Voyager 2 is still in good working order. 
Voyager 2 is only about 12 billion miles distant from Earth compared to Voyager 1's 14 billion miles. It's flying at a speed of roughly 34,400 miles per hour, which is around 3,600 miles an hour slower than Voyager 1. It could be because Voyager 2 is sluggish, or simply because it's reluctant to leave us alone. Perhaps Voyager 2 is capable of human feelings. That'll be a big fear, right? Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.